Hi, my name is Tom Prowse and I'm a Data School Consultant at the Information Lab. This session is going to be all about how to publish and schedule a workflow using the Tableau Server and Tableau Prep Conductor. Within this workflow, I'm using the Sample Superstore workflow, which is provided by Tableau, and I'm going to upload that to my server so that we can schedule it so it runs automatically on a given schedule um, so that I don't have to come in and manually run my workflow every time that I need it to be run. So the first task here is to publish it to the server. Now, as in with Tableau Desktop, you have the option to choose the server at the top here. So if I choose this, um, notice how I've already signed into my server. So we, that's the first step. But then there's also the Publish Flow button here. So if we choose this button, there's a dialog box opens, and this is how we are going to publish it up to our Tableau server. So then it can be scheduled um, at a regular interval. So I'm going to choose my project. So I'm just going to pop it into data sources. And now I'm going to give it a name. So I'm just going to call this Superstore Workflow. Now notice I have a little warning error here saying this name already exists. So that basically means I've already published this to the server. So do I want to continue? Because it will overwrite and replace the existing workflow. But that's fine for now because I want to just update it. Um, now I can give a description, so I'll just call it Superstore. Um, I can add tags if I want to and change the connection details. Um, this just depends on if you upload the files or have a direct connection. For now, I'm just going to leave these all as upload. And then I can press publish. Um, again, I get another warning just to make sure that I, I'm happy to uh, overwrite any existing workflows. So I am, so I'm going to replay, uh, replace. Now this is publishing my workflow up onto my Tableau server. So once this is done, uh, it opens within the server, as you can see here. Um, so now this is my workflow within the web editor training uh, site, uh, which I've chosen. So there's a few things you can do here. We can run the workflow just by pressing run. So if we need to manually run, run it, we can just press there. We can run, um, it will say, it will run as soon as the server has resources available. So we can just press run. And now, as you can see up here, this workflow has been added to a queue and will run whenever the server um, has available capacity. And now, another way we can also do is schedule the workflow. So notice how here we have schedule and it says every weekday from 2 a.m. So if I click onto the schedule, and I can, if I just delete that for now, and then go back to my workflow, notice how it says create new task. So I can choose here and say create new task. This will open up where I can set a schedule. So no, so this is a list of schedules which are pre-built, or you can customize them uh, within the schedules uh, menu. So for example, if I run, want to run my workflow at 2 a.m. every weekday, I can choose that option. Now here I have a couple of options about automatically including all of my output steps or just uh, select the ones. So if I choose automatically, this will update all of them and I can select individual ones. For now, I only have one output, so I'm just gonna select that. And you can also choose the refresh type for mine full refresh is the only option, but you can also have incremental refresh as well. So now I'm going to create the task. And notice how this has now changed to every weekday at 2 a.m. So this means my schedule, my workflow will run on this schedule uh, automatically and automatically update. Um, just going up to here, there's a few different options. So we've got our connections, which shows all of the different fields which we are connected to. We also have our scheduled tasks, so we can add new ones to this. So we can already go add task. This opens up our schedule menu once again, so we can add another schedule. We have the run history. So this just tells me how many times the workflow has run and if it has been success successful or not. So this is really important when you're trying to identify errors and or and see why the workflow hasn't run. And we also have lineage. So over on the right hand side here, this just shows you how dependent other workflows are or other data sources or workbooks 
and how dependent they are on this workflow. So again, if this workflow fails, how important is it to further down the line? And is it going to affect a lot of workbooks? So this covers the main steps of scheduling a workflow within, with the Tableau Prep Conductor on the Tableau server. If you'd like more information about this, there's a great blog post on the Prep and Data website where the link can be found within the description of this video. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our channel and take a look at the next video within this series about how to check for errors.